China attempting to also control not just India's media but also Pakistan. That's a big statement that has come in that China is attempting a global media push to try and control uh, media of different countries, not just different organizations. This is, uh, is being seen as a news click like bid to control media even in Pakistan and USA has said it. United States of America is exposing the Chinese Pakistan media meddling that China is aiming a media control to push the narrative. This is what uh, USA has said and uh, this is a uh, big news that we are breaking to you right now that China is using money, using investments into media groups to ensure that the narrative gets tilted in their favor. A foreign affairs editor, Geeta Mohan, is joining me on the latest on that. Geeta, do give us a background of how and why is US is saying that we see China pushing for a global uh, for a media push for the narrative that suits China or at least does not report against it. All right, so that's the big news coming in that China is uh, attempting and indulging in a global media push and that is impacting and this is in many ways uh, linked to the news click. But this is not just about uh, India, according to the media outreach that is coming in, that uh, China is using propaganda, disinformation, censorship and money to try and push a certain media narrative that, uh, that helps generate more positive reports about it. Geeta Mohan is with the latest on that. Yes, Geeta, go ahead. Do give us a background of how and why is US is saying that China is trying to meddle with me in media to try and push out a narrative that suits it. Well, uh, this is a State Department uh, Global Engagement Center special report where uh, they have uh, uh, put out an extensive report on how the People's Republic of China seeks to reshape the global information environment. In that, they have various uh, countries that they have mentioned uh, in terms of how China has tried to influence a particular media organization or uh, tried to use social media to influence uh, the, the, the uh, viewers and the, and the consumers uh, on a pro-China tilt, whether it's France, United Kingdom, Honduras, Israel, Pakistan, is also East Africa. Uh, to your specific question on Pakistan, the detailed report uh, uh, suggests that uh, China has developed this international operation where they're trying to gain control of uh, Pakistani media. And uh, uh, how are they doing it? They're trying to do it through the China-Pakistan Economic uh, Corridor Media Forum, uh, where they use that forum, that space, to ensure that uh, there is positive news that comes out uh, with regards to China. And uh, uh, the fact that China has been using its own economic might and economic uh, 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 investments in uh, Pakistan uh, to, uh, to, to ensure that there's favorable coverage of China goes to show that they are trying to ensure that at least when it comes to Pakistan, hmm. that China has major influence. The draft concept paper also has called for China and Pakistan government to establish a nerve center to monitor Pakistan's information environment. Uh, by streamlining inputs from think tanks, opinion leaders, so on and so forth. So uh, this is a mechanism that uh, that the Chinese now are trying to use. Not a new one. These are regular reports. And, that and with come Pakistan, out Gita, it doesn't sound surprising because they've ensured in uh, some ways that Pakistan's establishment itself uh, is is uh, drowning in debt of China, whether it's regard to infrastructure projects or any other investment that have been made. Clearly, Pakistan unable to repay the loans and is facing a lot of pressure also from China. I appreciate you joining us, Gita Mohan, on this big story.